Good morning, good morning, good morning. Lauren here. Um, so, one of the things you may not know about me is I do resumes, cover letters. I used to help people with their job searches, but I kind of stopped that. And then I do some small business consulting, helping small businesses launch their business. So in this video, I want to talk a little bit about resumes. Um, I think it's very important for everybody to understand that there is no specific way, like there is no one right way that a resume has to look. Um, people choose bullet form because they want to highlight certain things. But if you are looking to apply for jobs in which your skills don't match up exact, then it's okay to change that format and not go with bullets. Um, there are small paragraphs. There are you know, you put bullets of what your duties were and then you have to se separate another part that says like key achievements or accomplishments. Like there are so many structures to a resume based on what you are trying to highlight. And I want everybody to understand that, I'm sorry, I'm outside. I want everybody to understand the purpose of a resume. Um, your resume, of course, is to highlight your skills and experiences to show them why you are a good fit for their job. Your resume is not supposed to be just a list of your work history. Um, and so when you're highlighting your skill sets, you have to do it in the best way that's going to let the hiring team or hiring manager know that you are a great fit for their job. When it comes to your resume, keywords are important. Unless you're emailing your resume directly to a person, it's going to go through an application tracking system, so a portal. If they put 45 words as far as keywords in this tracking system and they say all resumes must have 30 out of 45 of these words and your resume has five, you never get to a hiring manager, which means you never get a phone call. And so when you hire someone like me or any other resume writer, we're going to be looking at, well, what are the jobs that you're interested in? What's the industry? What are the keywords that that industry is looking for? That way, you don't just use this one resume for that one job or those two jobs you're looking at. You can use this one resume for 10 different jobs because we did it industry specific based on keywords that the industry uh, will be looking for. And so I just want everybody to understand, step one, your resume has to pass the application tracking system test you know what i'm saying you gotta go you gotta do a, a great resume not just a good a great resume that is full of keywords but most importantly highlights what they're going to want to know about you in relation to their job once you pass that application tracking system then you go to the hiring manager or the hiring committee and at that point they start reviewing applications based on the actual content the format all of that and when you are in that part, that's when they say like, oh, okay, well, we're going to uh, interview 10 people. We're going to interview 15 people. They may say we're going to interview 30 people based on how large the company is and how they want to, you know, eliminate people. So key one, step one, is you have to have a resume that can pass an application tracking system by keywords and just like relating your skill set, your work history to the jobs that you will be applying to and then you want to focus on the format because if all you do in your resume is list your job duties I did this 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 and this and this job but you can't say what impact you made on the job uh, what accomplishments you made that's when you kind of end up in the note or maybe pile even once the hiring manager or the hiring committee sees your resume but again, goal one is get your resume to the people to review. And then once they have it, now it's up to them to determine, did you do a good job letting us know from your skill sets how you can make an impact on our job? I hope this is helpful. I hope this was um, eye-opening to some people on how uh, resumes work and the purpose of a resume and how to set your resume up. If you're interested in a worksheet, I have a worksheet on my Etsy page. That's etsy.com slash shop slash Bass Consulting. I have the link in my description below. 
Uh, it's a quick worksheet that just kind of also goes over this so you don't have to write it down if you don't want to or it has a little bit more detail. I like to recommend that you review at least three jobs when it comes down to saying I'm going to make an industry specific resume. Like if you if you don't have several jobs to compare, then how are you going to know what the keywords are for the industry? I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, like I said, I do resumes and cover letters uh, as a another gig. Something that I've been passionate about since I was an undergrad. So definitely been doing this since maybe 2007, 2008. Um, Good luck on y'all job searching. You know, I know the unemployment numbers are extraordinarily high right now to the point where uh, I think we're officially in a recession. But the information is out here. People like me are willing to help. Uh, sometimes it's easy to give free content. Uh, other times we need to be paid our worth. And then we just want to see everybody excel. What's the point of me having all this knowledge for myself? and not being able to help others with the same knowledge who you know who qualify for some of these roles but their resumes just don't show that they qualify have a great day